to tokenize or not to tokenize? That is the question, and not the only one, by the way. Let's explore asset tokenization and answer some popular questions. What is asset tokenization? Tokenization is the process of creating digital tokens on the blockchain that represent ownership of real-life assets, such as investments, precious resources, collectibles and arts, or access to a company's services. A token can represent a part of the asset, plus people can also be allowed to buy fractions of the token. This allows to create a much stronger economy around trading assets. What are the benefits of asset tokenization? Blockchain technology is what's behind the value of tokenization. It enables great accessibility and liquidity of assets, transparency, immutability, fractional ownership, and cost savings. Literally anyone in the world can tokenize their assets and openly trade them without boundaries. Owners can trace the entire history of a particular asset, verify its origin, and see how its ownership has been transferred. Are there any risks behind asset tokenization? Tokenization is gaining a lot of traction, but there are still some areas for improvement. Some of the challenges include lack of standardization. As more and more platforms emerge, the lack of protocol standardization makes it difficult for third-party applications such as wallets to interact with platforms. Regulatory issues. Legislators are still wrestling with how to best regulate blockchain-based financial services. No doubt, asset tokens will gain more regulatory interest as popularity grows. Cyber attacks. We have to admit that there is still no technology in the world that is 100% immune from attacks. Yet blockchain developers are working hard to enhance security. There is a downward trend in the number of cyber attacks on platforms, wallets and other services running on the blockchain. Asset-backed tokens, what are they? Tokens are digital records of ownership, giving you exclusive rights over an asset or a fraction of the asset. For example, a token could provide ownership of one theater ticket, one square meter of a house, or a digital picture, or even one hundredth of a work of art. Compiled and built with regulatory compliance, tokens can also represent securities and be traded at trading venues around the world. Is there a difference between owning an asset directly and owning an asset-backed token? The difference lies in the physical location of the asset. Exchanging tokens does not entail the transportation of the asset. For instance, if the owner wants to sell the diamonds, they won't actually have to make the trade in person and bear the risks of such a delicate exchange. A transaction on blockchain is all that needs to be done. How do tokenized assets trade on the secondary market? When the security is tokenized, the issuer can track where the tokenized assets go. They will always know who is holding their asset at any given moment thanks to blockchain-powered tools. Stakeholders have complete control over how investors trade their tokens on secondary markets. They can verify purchases and sales or even restrict secondary market trades. What are the industries that are embracing the concept of tokenization? Tokenization has already entered many industries, from the financial sector, real estate, precious metals, to sports and entertainment. In finance, issuing equity tokens, running crowdfunding campaigns, trading shares of renowned brands are not just opportunities, but the pillars of the new fintech world. Real estate is also being transformed with the introduction of tokenized property. It pushes the minimum limit of an investment and allows buying small shares of a property. This way, if someone wants to sell a property that is worth $100 million, they don't have to wait for one buyer to match that price. They can tokenize it and divide the property into shares, with one share per square foot. Tokenized precious resources such as gold bring about many benefits as well. Investors don't just buy tokens, but purchase the rights to real assets stored in secure vaults. It frees the owners of the burdens of storage and transportation and allows them to openly trade their gold asset just as easily as any other currency. In sports, blockchain digital assets can be introduced to tokenize anything, from the teams and clubs themselves to memorabilia, merchandise, stadiums and even equipment. It is a great tool for attracting investments and funding the development of global sports communities. What are the reasons why the market is shifting to tokenization? Tokenization is said to disrupt the foundations, frameworks and workflow of the current financial system with a domino effect on every other industry. This shift to tokenization is driven by several factors. 
It enables businesses and the community to define the valuables and their worth. People can monetize their creations and be rewarded for their contributions. For instance, a personal participation in market research could be rewarded with a tokenized share of the developed product. It unlocks new markets like banking in developing countries by giving everyone access to financial services. It also allows business startups to easily attract initial investments and engage a wider audiences in developing their projects. It can inspire innovative marketplaces and business ecosystems where consumers and enterprises with similar preferences could connect and interact in a more sustainable, effective ways. For example, businesses can motivate customers to make achievements using their products and reward them for their successes. It increases trust across all market participants by taking third parties out of the picture and making chances of attribution, manipulation and corruption of data slim to none. What should be considered before participating in the token economy? There are several factors that should be taken into consideration. The business model, cybersecurity, platform integration, jurisdiction and compliance. In terms of the business model, companies have to figure out the value chain. For example, they can choose to advise issuers on the token design or serve as the safekeeper of tokenized assets. When it comes to cybersecurity, keep in mind that though distributed ledgers are intrinsically secure, any design has its weak points and edges. A trusted blockchain development company can help you close all the back doors. Selecting the right platform depends on the regulations to be followed, types of products and services offered to the clients. The infrastructure needs to support the business model as well as fully compatible with downstream systems. As regulatory and legislative frameworks can differ from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, businesses should ensure tokens are compliant with regulations both on the investors and issuers' sides. Is the asset tokenization process difficult and time-consuming? Asset tokenization is less complicated if you partner up with an experienced blockchain company. Let's take a look at the steps you will need to take. Step 1. Choosing an asset. It's easier to tokenize an asset that has its own market so you don't have to worry about proving its value to investors. If your asset is not very popular and it's difficult to evaluate it, you should request a valuation from an auditing company. Step two, developing a business model and strategy. Designing your business model, you have to think about sources of income, financing details, and evaluate the token's user base. Step three, learning about regulations in your jurisdiction. You'll need to understand the laws relating to digital assets and blockchain technology and strictly comply with them. Sometimes it's best to contact an experienced legal advisor and ask for a professional consultation. Step four, creating the platform. You'll need a good team of developers. And if your code is open source, other passionate crypto coders can look through the code and make suggestions. Step five, publishing a white paper. A white paper describes why your token has been created and how potential buyers can benefit from purchasing your asset-backed tokens. Include an analysis of your work and the conclusions that you came to when preparing the project. Step six, attracting investors. After publishing the white paper and testing your new platform, you can start working on attracting potential investors. This is where your marketing skills come into play. Providing limited time offers and other incentives such as airdrops could draw people to using your tokens. Tokenization is already playing a transformative role in asset management, slowly but surely entering numerous markets, democratizing them and making them safer and more equitable. Asset tokenization is no longer perceived as a temporary phenomenon as companies, startups and individuals keep finding new objects to tokenize. Eager to find out more about asset tokenization? Read our blog article, Asset Tokenization from A to Z. Explanation, benefits, limitation, and real-life use cases. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the bell to be the first to watch our new videos. Bye.